so the video that I'm making in this field is going to be uh, from hunting quite a few times because I don't have so much time on my hand now. The finds are popping up definitely. Cool finds, very nice. Enjoy and well, let the adventure begin. Just dug up a very interesting piece that I definitely want to share with you. Um, it's a very nice decorated thing, so let's have a look. Here it is. And it looks like it's, it's a shell. Like a seashell or something like that. And, but I'm still clueless to what it is. There's this little pin here. To know if it's a... Um, yeah, well, <laughs> I can just keep guessing, but I, I just don't know. So, if you know, please let me know. I think it's quite old. And I can't wait to find out what it is. Here is a very interesting piece I just dug up. I really do appreciate the craftsmanship. You can see a couple of stars in the middle. Six as far as I believe. The sides are also decora decorated. And then you can see how they made it stronger and probably more decorative. With the little dots on it. By putting a piece behind. And uh, yeah. Somebody really, really put an effort into making this. And that's what I really like about pieces like that. So. Let's see if we can find more. Found two very interesting things. Here's one. It's actually a duit from Overijssel, 1760 something. And then there's this little thing. And my best guess is, you can see a horse there. And it, it was bent over when it came out of the ground, but it, it's a horse. And on the other side there is some, some writing there. 22, and, or 20, 12, I don't know. But anyway, I think here at the bottom is actually a date. It could be... A poor man's penny, then the church would give out lead coins for poor people to buy bread and stuff like that. That is also what it could be, but and usually they would make them in a way that they would look like other coins. So, you guys are actually behind the umbrella again. It's very windy, but I think I found a silver, so we definitely. Need to check it out. Let's have a look. Come on. So here it is. I think this is a silver. But I will clean it up a little bit and then I will show you. Well guys, I really don't know yet. I tried brushing it off a little bit. I mean, I think we can see a weapon here, and on the back there is something else, but I'm really not sure, I need to clean it up. I think if I look that way, that you can see it's silver, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely a coin to check out. I need to Google this one, for sure. Nice one. Let's see if we can find some more. When you're metal detecting, there are always surprises. And I had another surprise. It's very funny, actually, to me. I'll show you what I found. Now, the funny thing is, first, I found this one. And later, I found that one. 
I tried putting them together and it's a match. It's a little bale seal, but if you look at this, I mean, there's nothing on it. That's a shame. But to me it's really funny that, you know, quite some distance from each other you find two pieces that actually fit together. So now I have a complete bale seal. So it's a funny little find. <laughs> I am happy with this one as well. Now trading weights are always cool to find. And especially when there are markings on it. Let's check it out. Here it is. And if you look at it, I'll slowly turn it. There are so many markings on this one. I have to check it out again. On uh, need to Google around. But really a lot of markings on there. Can't wait to properly clean it and see what they are. But quite happy with this find. It's really tiny, no wonder they lost it. <laughs> now in metal detecting we all have bucket listers. <laughs> we all have. And my bucket lister, at least one of them, is to find a cannonball. <laughs> and today I found at least half of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that. It's not as big as I hoped it would be, but this must be for sure. Piece of a cannonball. At least that's my best guess. It's very heavy and I mean small, but I have to measure it and see if I'm correct, but really happy with my first piece of a cannonball. Now let's see if we can find the complete one. <laughs> I'm really over the moon right now. A cannonball. <laughs> found my first real cannonball. How cool is that? Just a few inches below the surface. Scratchy crap signal. But I've got my bucket list find. A cannonball! <laughs> Small little button just came out of the hole and look at that design really cool a nice flower or something like that but it's complete and looking nice I'm happy with this tiny button <laughs> he's so curious of what I'm finding I guess <laughs> Another coin came out of the ground. As far as I can see, it's a Geldria. See a bit of the weapon and some lettering here. I have to look it up a little bit more, but it's a very nice coin indeed. So here we are, wrapping up this video. Cool hunt, really enjoyed it, especially of course my cannonball. That was really really cool. Now let's see what we got. Quite a few coppers actually. One cent. This is actually, I didn't catch it on camera but it might be a coin weight or something. I don't know exactly actually but it was really a very nice find. Tiny brass little thing. A doubt from Overijssel. Probably our poor man's penny. Now that definitely looks like a 6, but I think 16 something, but 22 you can see as well. 
Uh, you see those. Found a small little ring as well. Our tiny button or our weight. Buckles. Some brass connection things. Very old, I believe. Some lead stuff. Bell seals and musket balls and piston pistol balls. And of course our tiny and our big cannonball. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Feel free to like and subscribe the video that I made. And of course I hope I'll see you on the next adventure. See you later. Later, uh, quite actually early 1700s, mid 1800s. No, yeah.